Hey, this is Sadman from MoFi Network. Um, today I'm going to show you how to do a manual firmware upgrade on the MoFi 4500 router. Basically, you want to do a manual flashing when the remote update will not work. That is probably because you don't have an internet connection right now on your router. So doing a remote update is not an option. Let's go ahead and let's see how to do that. First, you want to open up a browser. Make sure it's not Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge. I'm doing it with Firefox. Make sure you're connected to the MoFi router, which I am. And then try to log into the router, which is 192.168.10.1. That's the default IP of MoFi router. Type in the default password, which is admin all in lowercase. Once you're inside this router, you want to you will understand that your remote update will not work is after you go to system again at the bottom left hand corner go to remote update you will see it should say something like uh, no internet connection so it says that it has no internet connection so all you will need to do is get connected to a different network which has internet uh, because we'll need to download uh, the latest firmware that we want to upgrade the router to so it could be anyway either death ring from your phone from a different internet access point but you will need an internet connection for that so go ahead and um, I'll go ahead and connect to another connection that has internet asking for the password I'll type in the password should be connected in a moment and after it's connected uh, it is connected you need to go to our site mofinetwork.com and then hover over to support and then click on download this will take you to the download page now at this point uh, you need to know which is the model number of your router so for my one it is mofi 4500 4g xe lte v2 so i'll click on this download uh, you can verify this. Uh, it should be written right here. So, yeah. And then scroll a little bit below until you see, click here to save firmware 2.7.7. Up until now, that's the latest one. So we'll click on it. We'll make sure you don't open the file. You save it. So we'll save the file. Uh, yeah, not in the music. We'll do it in the downloads. And then save it. Uh, make sure you remember where you're saving it uh, because we'll need it in a bit, all right? So this will take about uh, a minute uh, depending on your connection. So while it downloads, um, you need to make sure we'll, we'll have this page open because we'll need to verify the um, check some value after we initiate the upgrade. So just bear with it. Okay, looks like we are done downloading our firmware. So right now what we want to do is go back to the MoFi router and do a manual flashing. Now before I go proceed further, I want to show a few things. Let's, let's click on anywhere. Let's click on overview. You see this spinning circle? It's actually going on and on. It's not actually doing anything. Uh, any guess why? Of course, we are connected to a different network. We are not connected to the MoFi network. So in order to work with the MoFi interface, we need to go ahead and connect back to the MoFi router. Now, once we are connected, uh, we know that we are connected. We can go ahead and click on system on the bottom left hand corner. Uh, and then scroll again all the way to the bottom left and you will see manually flash firmware. Click on it. And then here comes the page. It is asking for you to browse the image file. So that's the image file that we need to, we just downloaded. So go to downloads and for me, I saved it in MoFi firmware and then MoFi and then open. Now, after you've selected this, uh, go ahead and click on flash image. And in the next page, you will be prompted with a random number, which is the checksum value. Here is the checksum value. Make sure it matches with the one that says here. Uh, so just last matching the last four digits should be fine. 1D01. It says 1D01. So everything's perfectly fine. Um, now go ahead and click on proceed. And also note that the configuration files will be erased. So that's 
All right, we'll click and proceed. The system is now flashing. Do not power off device. We'll wait a few, few minutes. This usually takes about five minutes, so just bear with it. The router will go through a power cycle. Um, we'll be back with you after the flashing process is done. Okay, the flashing process was done. Let's go ahead and log back into the router again using the default IP and the default password admin. To check that we actually went through perfect firmware upgrade, you could go to status from the list on the left and your firmware version says 2.7.7 STD, indeed the one that I just flashed. So we have successfully done the firmware upgrade. The last bit of thing to do is do a factory default on the router. So go to system on the bottom left hand corner, a little below system you'll see factory default and just click on perform reset really reset all changes of course click on ok this will go through another power cycle it will take about two minutes and you're done that's how you do the manual firmware flashing on the mofi 4500 router thanks for watching have a good day